Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Lipthier20, and welcome back to Minecraft on a hardcore survival world. For today's episode, we'll be doing a bunch of different type of farming. I'm talking about expanding our farm, making an automatic sheep farm, just so that we would get every single color wool without having to, like, manually do the labor there. I'm talking about making an iron farm, villager farm, diamond farm. Okay, maybe not that last part, but definitely make all the other farms. But on top of that, I do want to make a bubble elevator for my little mineshaft area, because I did make a meme where it's, like, Metal Gear Solid 3 reference where you climb up the ladder and play Snake Eater. With my uh with my ladder system here and a lot of people posted hey you should make a bubble elevator bubble elevator and i'm like you know what that's a good idea i should probably do that now if i do want to make a bubble elevator i should probably move some of this stuff around so i'm going to move this or that's the wrong tool i'm going to move this right here and we're going to move this right here so we're going to have like a drop right here and a retrieve right here so let's get started right here for the drop part all right so here's the plan we're going to have it end off right here just so that way we can still access the ancient city we'll have the other section right here but we can still go like up and down this ladder just so that way we can access our mine shaft without any worries whatsoever now the next step here is to make this look a little prettier and then start making the bubble part of the bubble elevator all right so it's not complete but let me give you a quick showdown of what's gonna happen we go down this hole we fall all the way down and hopefully i left the water down there okay we did Whew. I was a little worried there that I forgot. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole entire gist of it. And then over here will be the little bubble elevator part. We just go whoosh all the way up to the top. You know, I really need to get a feather falling because I swear I will die one of these days just from falling down. All right, so let me show you guys how to make a very simple bubble elevator. All you need to do is place some water at the very top of where you want to come out of. You go all the way back down. Now, once you make it all the way to the bottom, the water has fully set. You just place one kilp at the bottom here and you transform all your bones into bone meal and just keep on going. So once you're you're done fully bone milling everything it should transform every single part of the water stream into a full source block you just break the kelp at the bottom and then all you have to do now is just go up it and there you go you got a nice simple bubble elevator all right there we go our elevator should be complete we have some signs right here to stop the water from leaking everywhere um totally not trying to hint at anything wink wink nudge nudge but uh, yeah, anyway, all we have to do now is just go up the elevator and make the other farms. All right, I think our next step should be to make a villager farm. We will need that in order to make the uh, iron farm. So let's go out and shear some sheeperonies. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be two villagers in the same house. I know it should be with the mending villager. So let me go over and see if they're still there. All right, it looks like they're still there. So let me go make some beds and start making some villagers. So let's make some beds. We can make about 13, it looks like. All right, this should be more than enough beds. So let me kind of break this little section right here for any baby villagers to come out. And we should probably start chucking a bunch of food into here. Here you guys go. There's some potatoes. Here's some carrots as well. And this should be more than enough for you guys. So that way you don't have to bother me too much. It's like, oh no, we need some more beds. We need some more food. Nee, 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 nee. You know what? I do want to get some more iron. Let's kind of try to test our luck. We're going to attempt faith a little bit. Uh, Let's see. Punch. Run, 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 run. And then one, two, three. Okay, we should be good up here. Yeah, you can't hit me from up here. Can't hit me from up here. Look at that. We got some free iron. All right, so here's my plan. I think I'm going to block off, like, majority of this area just to kind of, like, contain all the villagers in one spot and then kind of just work from there on, like, transporting them to and from our base, make a lot of different villagers for, like, different enchantments, that sort of stuff. All right, so I think this is a pretty good outline so far. I did expand it just a little bit, you know, get a little bit more natural sunlight. And I do have some obsidian, make it a lot easier going like back and forth and transporting the villagers for when we need them. So uh, let me kind of finish off this other area over here. And we should be good to go as far as this goes. All right, just making sure we got some lights around here because I do not want any zombies killing our villagers here. I should probably make sure this little cave is also taken care of as well, just to be extra safe. Now I... Do you think this is a pretty good setup so far? I don't think we have to worry too much else. I'm probably going to make this too high for the little wall here just to be extra safe. Because I really, and I mean, I really do not want to deal with any like zombies breaking in. All right, I think this is pretty good. I'm going to set up a nether portal right here and then kind of release our villagers over here. All right, if everything works as planned, we can just go through this. No worries, it's automatically linked. So here's to hoping, please, I don't want to get in like more obsidian or anything like that. Okay, Woo. 
Perfect. Now, where's our portal that we had originally? Oh, over here. We don't have to worry so much. Now, I will have to kind of skeleton proof it just so that way we don't have any, like, skeletons walking through the portal and, like, kind of ruining everything, you know? Do we have any doors left over? I don't know. That would be a question that will be answered once I make it to the wood chest. So, let's see. Any doors? No. We have trap doors, but that's not really, that's not really going to be useful. Oh, wait. We have one in our inventory. We don't have to worry so much. All right, so I'm not going to make it too crazy when it comes to making this portal. Just going to go something simple like this. Okay, now that everything is closed off, we should be able to release our villagers. You got any baby villagers? No, that is... Uh... That's not good. Do you guys need more food? I can supply more food if that's the case. All right, we'll let them be. We'll do our own thing. We'll go out, just kind of get started with the other farms here, and then we'll come back later. All right, let's build our iron farm right over here, right next to our base. I do have a video for this. I will link it down in the description and the comments, just in case you guys want to build it yourself. But uh, yeah, let's get started on building this farm. Okay, so I'm not done yet, but I kind of want to show you guys how everything works so far. So we need some villagers right here. I am on that step. I need three to be specific. Uh, the villagers will be right there. We have a boat with a zombie in it. The zombie scares the villagers. The villagers go, ah, oh no, we need saving. Someone help us. So it summons some iron golems right up top. So that way they fall into lava. We get some iron and rinse and repeat. Now, like I said, I do need to get some villagers, so let me go out and start grabbing some. Haha! -ha! We finally have our first little baby villager. I was trying to, like, chop down this whole entire house, and I just heard a little baby noise. Oh, it's so cute. You're gonna be part of a slave labor camp. I mean, what? Alright, if I remember correctly, we can use the brand new features with the minecarts to kind of, like, teleport from the nether portals very smoothly. Uh, you guys should not be escaping... Please don't be escaping. Okay, that guy's gone. So let me kind of just do something like this to block you off. There we go. On the plus side, we also have another baby villager to bring along. But the main guy is this one right here. So let me take you all the way back home. Okay, a little bit of an issue. I don't think rails work too well on the soul sand here once they kind of like fall onto it. So uh, let me fix that real quick. Okay, let's see if this will work now. Please latch on. No, you're just too low. That, mm, that sucks. Okay, let me fix this up real quick. Okay, please don't go too far. No, no, that's the wrong direction. Okay, whew, that could have been really bad. All right, there you go. He's finally through the portal. We don't have to worry right now about the nether stuff. Now we just have to bring him to the, uh, to the iron farm. All right, last thing I need to do is send you down to your forever home. So, you have fun down there. Well, now I need to do that two more times. I should probably make a lot more rails because I'm getting sick and tired of using just 30. So let me do that real quick. All right, let's get our next victim. I mean, volunteer here. All right, we finally got our second guy here. Please have fun in our little fun zone attraction. Uh, you got a little guardian here to keep you company. All right, all we have to do now is grab our last guy and we should be good to go with our iron farm. All right, finally, we got our third villager right over here. Let me bring you back home, buddy. Well, that's not good. Gonna set him on fire. Please, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, break, 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 break. Whew, okay, that could have been real bad. All right, there we go. We have all our villagers in a nice low row right here. All right, our farm is almost complete. All I have to do now is get some lava right here, bring a zombie right down here, and till all this land. All right, I got my bucket of lava. All I gotta do now is wait for nighttime to get a zombie and probably get mending on my shovel. It is a little damaged here, but let me place that down. And now we just gotta wait for nighttime. Come on, son, go down, go down. All right, since I'm gonna be waiting for it to turn nighttime, I'm gonna get started on this little expansion to our farm here. I think I made that a little too high. I think around here, yeah, that's that's about the high we want. Okay, I need to figure out how to make this look good. Because I don't want the water to be spilling everywhere. But I don't want it to look too funky. Um, ooh, ooh, okay, I have an idea. We'll hide the water with some, like, stairs. Like, wooden stairs. Give it a little bit of flavor. A bit of accent to the walls here. Alright, finally, it's nighttime. Let's go find a little zombino. Aha, we got one zombie right here. Let me just kill the skeleton, because you are going to be a nuisance. Oh, that's a creeper. Oh, please, no. I'm going to I'm gonna kind of tell you to back away. I don't know why some of my shots go through you, but, uh, back away. Back away. Okay, whew. That was uh, a little too close. All right, please just fall down this hole. You jump. Oh, no, he learned. Haha, <laughs> there you go. Okay, now we lock you down there. You just go down. No, 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 no. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. No, no, no. Back away. Okay, uh, where'd my... There it is. Whew. 
That was a little weird there. Now, if I do remember correctly, I think I need to get a name tag. So let me see if I have one. Uh, yeah. Okay. I was about to say, no, I don't have one, but I do. Uh, what should we name him? Uh, let's name him Philip. Philip the zombie. All right. Everybody good? Nobody's a zombie. All right. Perfect. Philip, you are now an honorary member of our villagers team. And while I was doing all that, I did hear it works perfectly. Ooh, look at that iron. All right, let's make this a little cleaner here. I don't want it to be too weird. All right, so I think this is overall the style I'm going to go with. We have the water right here. We have a little like stair accent thing. And I didn't want to go like fully stairs where it's like wrapping around. So I went with trap doors here, which I think overall looks pretty good. All right, there we go. Our farm is fully upgraded. We got the crops right here. We got some light going on here i need to work on the staircase or a ladder system or something to make it look nicer but i think for now i'll keep it like this but yeah everything is complete on this end now we need to make the uh make a little sheep farm now i do want to grab some sand here because i do want to color coordinate the sheep make it a lot easier to tell what's what so let me go grab that real quick now i did also do the math we need two stacks worth of sand in order to get like one of each color and then we'll probably like expand upon it later on but for now we'll just go like one of each color all right i got two stacks of sand now i just need to get the dyes and we are good to go Ooh, i just realized we're gonna need to get some green dye oh that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge there all right let me see if i can remember how to do this i think if i do something like this followed by an observer block right here no not right there uh other way like this and then we need a grass block right here we can kind of section everything off right here or hang on hang on sorry sorry i need to have the uh the hopper system right here all right so we have a hopper right down here we place a minecart with a hopper right here and then we can do something like this i believe and then from there we do this and let me make a button real quick place and no that's not that's not how i do it hang on sorry i forgot we gotta break this first and then we do something like this this bam there you go and then i think if i remember correctly what i do is do something like this and we place a dispenser up here like this and let me see if this works yeah there we go okay uh actually no no no, no. we're close we have to do something more so like this and then we do this and there we go that should be completed let me kind of just surround this up right here all right almost everything is complete i just need to refix this little grass tile right here all right i'm gonna let the sheeps kind of wander around a little bit here i am gonna bring one up here and all we need to do now is bring you into the little hole here there we go good sheep good sheep all right now should work 100 percent of the time kind of messed up a little bit but everything should be good and dandy all right let me show you guys how to quickly do this much more properly so first things first we kind of want to have a little bit of a three by three area here we place a little bit of a chest right here and then we place a hopper right down here following that you can do kind of like a two-way system with some grass you don't really need to do it as long as like one part is touching the middle here but a two-way system works pretty well in my opinion then from there all you need to do is place down one observer right there or sorry wrong direction uh you want to place it this direction after that i usually place down a slab right here and then you want to place down a little bit of a railway right here following that you place one minecart hopper right here and i did mess up a little bit here so what you're gonna want to do is break the railing right down here okay so once you break the railing you want to go up three blocks right here one block over and then you want to place down one piston right here and then one grass block right here and then you just go bada boom there you go and then right here i usually place down some glass corresponding to the wool that i want to get so right here is orange wool and then after that you want to get a dropper or sorry a dispenser because it will allow you to place down shears and shear the sheep so once you place on the dispenser, all you need to do now is kind of have a redstone torch in the back here. So you place down one torch right here, one block right up here, and there you go. Last thing you want to do is cover everything up and then place down some shears right in here and get a sheep right in here. And then after that, the sheep will eat the block, trigger the uh, little dispenser observer thing, and shoot the sheep itself. Okay, apologies place a block behind the observer and then a redstone dust on top that will trigger the dispenser but now it should work yeah there we go okay perfect now we just need to do that about 14 more times 
All right, so I do have a starting point for the next 14 colors. However, since we don't have the color green, I am going to hold off before finishing this build right now. So next episode, I'll find the cactuses, finish the build, and bada boom, bada bang, I'm at Sheep Farm. But overall, I'd say we accomplished a lot of stuff that I said I wanted to do. You know, we got some villagers, we got some iron, we got an expanded farm, a little bit of a sheep farm, and sadly no diamonds, but you know what, that's all right. Overall, I'd say this was a success, so I will have to thank you guys for your time. And if you guys did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to like play or build or anything at all, please let me know. But yeah, without the way, this has been Lothic20, signing off. Bye-bye. <laughs>